Hello there, this is Thomas of Nightwish. And Flora of Nightwish. And you have the pleasure of listening to and watching Linear Rock. Hi Flor, hi Thomas of Nightwish. Welcome back to Linear Rock. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to have you back. So a new album is about to come out on the 27th of March. Um, there's a lot of expectations and curiosity around it because uh, the new singer, uh, actually the fans already know about Floor uh, because of the live album and the previous tour. Um, so any anticipations, anything you can tell us about the new record, the expectation will be fulfilled? Well, one thing that comes immediately to my mind is that uh, the expectation seems to be astronomically high. <laughs> and I no, pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> but um, actually I find that really intriguing and even flattering because it, the buzz is so huge already and uh, I see people analyzing all the songs in the internet from the little snippets that they have heard right. from the journalists who have heard the album and just trying to make an image of what the album is all about and coming up with theories of what the lyrics are all about and all that. So it's really huge. And uh, I thought I had high expectations from this album. Yeah, yeah, definitely true. So it's, yeah, from from what we've ho heard indeed from, other, from journalists is that, that, that what they were hoping for came, came, th came true. And of course, you know, you have your own expectations of what you want to make. And I can personally say that all my dreams and wishes there came true. So uh, it's very uh, exciting to hear what people think once it's uh, really out. And may, may I say it's quite, um, quite a complicated album. So I really think everybody should give it a few listens before making up their minds about it. I find it a bit confusing that people are already reviewing the album after listening to it just once yeah. without the lyrics, without the uh, booklet artwork and all that. So you should give it some time. Okay, we, we can consider it maybe a concept album in a sense if you need, you know, to have the complete scene of well, it maybe, before. Well, maybe in a very vague meaning of the word it is a concept album because it's very pro life it's it has an uplifting atmosphere going through throughout the whole album yeah. but uh, not all the songs are uh, about science and biology and evolution okay. but uh, if you use your imagination uh, all of those songs one way or another relate to that theme yes okay. So let's say the title which is endless forms must be beautiful um, does the title take any inspiration from the Charles Darwin book, The Origin, the origin of Spices, uh, as we heard? Or, I mean, how did the idea came about and who's guilty of this inspiration? That's exactly... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where it came from. Uh, from the last paragraph of his famous book on the origin of species. And it refers to the massive diversity of life on this planet. That's where okay. it came from. But uh, we actually struggled quite a long time with the title of the album. At least I personally wasn't sure what it's going to be called. I, I had all the uh, track titles ready and uh, for a long time I thought that Elan would actually make a nice album title as well. But then for various reasons I'm not going to go into now, we ended up to Endless Forms Most Beautiful, which at the moment sounds like the perfect title, especially into the context of this album. Let's go back to Floor. Um, she has, you Floor, have uh, a long story. You have, uh, you started very young and you did a lot of things before Nightwish. How did you get in touch with the band? Or I mean, was, why did you choose her? how the contact happened and was it tougher than ever to work with somebody which is also uh, a vocal coach, not only a singer? Well, let's start with, with how we met, which is which is really going back in time, back to 2002 or 2003, where I at the time with my band 
after forever, was supporting Nightwish on a European tour. Um, and we always stayed in touch there uh, in a nice way. And, and apparently uh, when, when, when there is a need uh, uh, of, 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 of a vocalist stepping in on, on a moment of, of great distress, um, they called me, which is a fantastic honor, of course. And I, when I sing, I mean, I am, I'm a technique geek, which brings, you know, comes to life, especially when I teach, because I, I have the technical background to explain how things work. But way more important in the end is how to use the technique uh, in, in bringing it alive onto an album, which this album actually facilitated perfectly to use anything possible in the songs written it, it it really asked for dynamics it really asked for different tones and sounds and uh and even brought out the softer side of my voice which i haven't been using that much especially in the last years with with revamp so uh you know the vocal coach in me wasn't wasn't really there i was more vocal coaching myself or the music was vocal coaching me better said yeah <laughs> She was the first pick for you. Uh, I mean, you immediately, you know. The first and only, yeah. Yeah, okay. And so everything was brilliant since the beginning. You called her and she said yes. And I, I wouldn't say everything was brilliant from the <laughs> beginning because it, the first few weeks was more like just trying to survive okay. because things happened so fast <clears throat> and uh, we needed to do what, what had to be done to keep the vehicle going. And uh, it's just, dare I even say the word blessing that she was available and willing to join, join the tour. Was it just the case that you decided to record a live album before, you know, a, an album of new material with her? Was just... That was uh, already being decided okay. beforehand, yeah. So it was already in the plans, all right. But did it help, you know, the chemistry, um, having, you know, another record before even if it's a live record, but... Well, it definitely didn't do any harm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not for yeah. in our band, but, but in the communication to the rest of the world that has not been able to come to a live concert yet, or saw it only once. Uh, it did maybe show a good... Uh, gave a good uh, image of the band on that moment. Um, yeah. Yeah, but when it by the time it came out, we were, you know, already at the end of our world tour, and the chemistry was already sort of set and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> ready for next step. And the fans already adore you, so it's maybe it's another reason why the expectations are very high because they know what you're capable of. So, for the new record, so that's that could be a trick, but definitely, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm, it's great to hear people people you know speak so positively but i'm sure there is many people who are also a little more awaitive or maybe you know not that much of a fan or maybe not a fan yet so uh, i really uh, yeah hope people have you know open eyes to everything that we or yeah an open mind better said to what we're what we're about to uh, throw into the world Will you stick back to a more operatic style now that, you know, with Floor, maybe she has, she's very versatile and she has also that kind of approach in singing. So are you considering it? Well, the album's already done, so there's only so much we can do at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's going to be one of the biggest surprises okay. for people when they hear the album that uh, her... Her operatic range is not so much present as people might expect. Mm -hmm. And this is because we didn't really feel that the songs require that approach. Mm -hmm. And like she said, we really wanted to challenge her into singing in a softer voice, in a lower register and in a more ethereal way. I think there's only one or two songs that she's actually using her okay. high and loud lyrical voice. but. I mean, it's all about the songs. You have to stand humble before the songs and not do stuff just because you can. I, I think this is of uttermost importance yeah. while creating any sort of art. 
you know, don't play a solo if there's no place for it, just because you can. Okay. And for you, Floor, uh, is this experience with Nightwish any different than anything you've done before and in which sense? Definitely. Um, I mean, of course, it's a different group of people, so the dynamics on there is different. Um, I'm going to be 34 next month. I started when I was 16, 17, or recorded the first album at 18. There's a lot of difference in in age there and how you look at life. Uh, and that doesn't only go for me, that, that goes for everybody. We've all matured a little more and we're all in a different place than I was with previous recordings in different settings. So those already make almost obvious, of course, you know, differences. Um, but then again, everything I've experienced before, just like the, for the rest of the guys, of course, you, you bring into this this situation, and uh, I, that only helped me to be where I am today. And and also within the group, now we, we, we took a long time to rehearse. So by the time the actual recordings came, I felt very secure and at place. And uh, yeah, then it's almost easy to record it. You want to be on the top of your, you know, what you can do, but yeah, all that I think le leads to, to, to a feeling like that. And I did not have that when I was 20 or, you know. <laughs> did you participate on the composition of the songs? Um, no. Melodic line, lyrics, no. No, okay. that's Thomas and that's also Marco. That's still, yeah. okay. Yeah. His role. All yeah, right. Absolutely. Um, drum parts has been played by Kai of Winterson. Uh, why him and what does it take, you know, to be uh, good, a good musician for Nightwish? Well, first of all, it's all about the personality and the motivation and the devotion. And after that comes the technical profession, professionalism. And when uh, Jukka came out with his insomnia problem, yeah. saying that uh, he cannot do this anymore, there was only one choice that we actually consider, and that was Kai, because we, we have known each other for more than 10 years. We know that he would be a perfect substitute when it comes to the personality and ability to play. It was only a matter of if he was interested and if he had the time. Okay. And good for us, he had both. But he's not the official drummer yet, or he no, is... No, is still very much a member of the band. Okay. That's what it says on the album booklet, okay. Night Which Is, Jukka right. Nevalan and drums, and drums on this album were performed by Kai Hahto. Honestly, we have no idea what the future is going to bring. Okay. We sincerely hope that... Uh, Yukka will find his way and cure and, and be back, tour. yes, but yeah. at not least for, for the tour. Yeah. not for the tour. Yeah. Guy's gonna do the whole tour and we're gonna give the guy some time and see in two, three years okay. what's happening. Um, Imaginarium had uh, a soundtrack feel and approach. Um, also in endless forms, most beautiful, the symphonic and cinematic feel <coughs> is very prominent. prominent. Um, or do you think that this time, you know, you felt more the need to go back to the roots? What's your point? How can you introduce? Well, I, ca I can only speak for myself. Everybody hears the music in their own way. Mm. But when I listen to this new album, I get a strong feeling of the Once era and the Oceanborn era. The, the cinematic elements and the orchestra choir, all that is still very much present, but I feel the band coming through much more than on Imaginarum, for example, okay. which sounded exactly the way it should sound when we recorded that. I mean, there's no regrets. I want to be clear about this. But this time it felt like, yeah, let's bring the band mood in a little bit more. And I think we definitely succeeded in doing so. Biology is definitely a theme in this record, and you have a very special guest in it. Do you want to introduce it and tell us why did you decide to call him? Professor Richard Dawkins. Yeah, the author and evolutionary biologist. I've, I've been a huge fan of his writings and his documentaries for the past few years. It's a, quite a recent find for me personally. It's no more than three, four years ago when I read a book by him called The Ancestor's Tale, which got me totally hooked in his works. 
and um, his writings were quite a huge influence for the songwriting of the album. And there's actu uh, actually a song which is uh, named after one of his books called The Greatest Show on Earth, a book about evolution on Earth. So it just felt like a natural thing to ask him whether he would have the time and interest to come and join in one of the songs. And he did, for some weird reason, I still don't know. <laughs> how long and how many studios uh, did it take to record this new masterpiece from A to Z? We started the recordings in mid-August at the campsite where we were rehearsing and the mastering was done in mid-January. So... Half a year? <laughs> five months, maybe all together. Yeah. So rather quick, actually, mm. compared to the other albums we have done. Good. And Thomas, how would you describe uh, the natural evolution of your approach in writing lyrics? You know, from a more fantasy, mythological style in the beginning to a more personal nowadays. Well, the whole spectrum is there when you look at the back catalog. Um, a lot of fantasy, a lot of science, a lot of personal uh, snippets from my own diary of life, all that sort of stuff. This time it was uh, science's turn to be the prominent part. I don't know what the future will bring. Even though there are also lyrics on the album with a more personal touch. And there always are, others. yeah. But yes, so it's not just one thing or the other. Yeah. Absolutely, and there's song like Our Decades in the Sun or Idi Maru, which have really nothing to do with biology or science per se, but... Uh, joy of life for sure. Joy of life for sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, Thomas, has always been the driving force, the soul in Nightwish. Um, why the choice to go solo recently? Did you need a different space, a different freedom? Why this choice? Okay, um, I have this idea of doing a thematic album about Scrooge McDuck. So how would you guys in Nightwish feel about doing an album about Scrooge McDuck? And by the way, I think it should be orchestral stuff, so we don't really need any guitars or drums or bass. <laughs> okay. So that, that's why. I mean, my point <laughs> is that uh, I have absolutely no ambition of going solo because Almost everything that I, I want to do as a musician and as a songwriter, I can do with Nightwish because we, are, we don't have any boundaries. We are not prisoners of a certain genre. But uh, with such a marginal concept as Scrooge, okay. you know, it had to be done solo. Elan is the first single, which will be out on February 13th with the bonus track Sagan, is that correct? Okay. Uh, which is not included on the record. So why Elan is the perfect presentation for the new album and otherwise why Sagan could not fit the concept at all? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me start by saying that Sagan didn't, uh, is not on the album because it conceptually didn't fit. Okay. But you have to make a choice. And I guess... It would fit perfectly conceptually, yeah, actually. definitely, yeah. since right. it's about Carl Sagan, which in line of Dawkins and Higgins and uh, uh, Charles Darwin make a perfect fit and was an inspiration mm. for, for Thomas as well. Uh, and even ended up as a name of the, uh, of the song. But yeah, it didn't make it to the album, not because it wasn't good enough, but you have to choose. And so that song became the, the extra song. And... There is no, there is not one song on the album that could represent the whole album. Uh, so if you have to make a single, you do that because you have to make a choice. And Elan is a fantastic, uplifting, happy song with a lot of Nightwish ingredients and a lot of this new album ingredients, but it can never cover the whole album. Um, however, it is a fantastic introduction into it and... Uh, we also made a nice video for this uh, for this song that will also be released on the 13th of February. Mm. 
And there's a fantastic uh, uh, alternative version. And I'm personally never a fan of alternative versions because I don't ever think it's doing much justice to the original. But this is a very, very nice one, I think, personally. So, it sure is. Yeah. Thank you, Petri. Great yeah. job. <laughs> okay, so the album is done. Yes. Everything is done. So you're ready to go on tour, but... Before that, now that you're thinking, you know, back of what happened in the last few months, do you, Flora, feel any pressure at the moment? Uh, maybe while you were doing, you know, things, you were not thinking too much. But now, you know, that everything is done, what's your feeling? Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm super ready to go. I, I love playing live and touring. So, yeah, the album is done and, and we know... How or what it's all about and it, it, there's this certain you know restless eager waiting feeling of like we want to you know release it now so that we can go on tour it now so that is for me anyway the feeling of, of uh, so not not really like oh now I have to sit back and reflect on everything uh, because it just felt so good already in the moment plus um, yeah everything really moved very naturally from in, in for all the steps and create in the creative process of finishing it and getting getting ideas for the show and the, yeah how the promo should look like and so now it's ready I'm, I'm ready <laughs> I'm ready yeah what's your <coughs> feeling Thomas how do you feel this is uh, a particularly magic moment for Nightwish since you know it's your brainchild you've always been there the whole career so what's this moment what that this means to you? Uh, it's just a happy feeling to let the kid out to the world, finally. Um, I always think uh, the journey in itself can be more rewarding than the destination. And making this album was so much fun, starting from the summer camp. Uh, even the songwriting process before that just was a lot of fun. But... Uh, Really, really looking forward to the tour as well. And the tour, so is, is you're planning it at the moment? The tour is on the plans? And do you, do you have any uh, new ideas, any anticipation that you can give to the us? The big boys are selling the shows as we speak, <laughs> and we're just concentrating on rehearsing the songs and yeah. doing the best show possible. Okay, so there mm. will be a lot of surprises, that's for sure. I think so, actually. Mm, there might be a few, yeah. 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 And concerning the set list, are you planning to include songs from, you know, all the albums or are you going to concentrate on the new one? What you're going to do? I would assume that a, a big emphasis will be on the new album, but definitely take a song or two or three from each of the albums, except for the first one. I don't think Angels Fall First um, will have any songs on the set list, at least for starters. Okay, very last um, question for you, Floor. Uh, is there any songs from, you know, Nightwish Back Catalog that you desperately want to sing uh, during the tour that you will do anything, you know, to, that, that, you know, to be included in, in the set list? <laughs> well, for, actually, I would love every, every song, you know. But uh, I, I took a liking in the, in the, the poet and the pendulum because it's such a dramatic long story with so many so many things happen and, and to bring that life I think it would be very cool so that that would be something um, and the first thing pops to mind but then again like I said any song really <laughs> okay yeah, so my, my favorites are the long ones definitely as yeah. well <laughs> the poet and the pendulum ghost love score the greatest show on earth song yeah. of myself but just to play those four songs and you already have a set list of an hour. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's, mm. it's so not always possible, but yeah. it, mm. oh well. Okay, so thanks guys for your time and we're looking forward to have you back at Linea Rock and in Italy for sure for your next tour. Thanks so much. Grazie. Thank you very much. <laughs>